Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the Real Legend of Gaming. So we have a very special video here. Real big announcement. First and foremost, thanks for everyone who gave me the 300 subs. The support is so much appreciated. And the next announcement we'll show you right now. We got a special gift from my boo. She got me the Nintendo Switch with the Legend of Zelda and the Mario Kart 8. So we will be officially covering Nintendo Switch on the channel. That's right, the Real Legend of Gaming is now covering Nintendo. And we got the Legend of Zelda here. And we got that Mario Kart. And we'll give you a little unboxing. I know the system's been out for a few months, but this is real big for me. I mean, it's real exciting to be able to introduce new content. And I've been wanting this system for a hot minute. So let's check it out. All right, so we're going to open up this Nintendo Switch Neon Edition. Let's see what's inside this box. It's real easy to open. It's always a plus. So right in there, you can see the Joy-Con controllers. It's got the left side and the right-hand side. This Neon is real sick. Definitely like that. Let's take it out the packaging. Give you a nice up-close. Analog stick there, the buttons, and we have one on this side as well. It's pretty slick. So inside here, this is the actual screen. You put the Joy-Cons on the side and it's really not that bad. So this is the size of the Switch. Pretty decent once you put the controllers on the side. It's really not that bad. Smaller than a tablet, so it's definitely very portable. And it's pretty sturdy. Like, it fits in your hand with no problem. So I don't really see it being a case where you could drop it. It has a very nice grip. But um, from, some people have been recommending to get a tempered glass and also maybe a screen protector. So that's going to be next on the list to cop. So it's pretty nice. Definitely like it. Very light. I'm feeling it. This is the Joy-Con support. Real nice. Joy-Cons fit in there smoothly. Creates kind of like a controller feel. So this will make it very practical for you to play some of those games, like Legend of Zelda or even Mario Kart. So this is nice. All right, so after you plug in your HDMI adapter to the television and plug in your AC adapter, you have to plug the Joy-Cons to the switch and it'll prompt you to set everything up. Now, if you want to connect to your television, all you do is detach the Joy-Con controllers from the console, which I showed you how to do earlier. Once you remove the Joy-Con, you can actually mount the switch console screen as a stand. And at that point, use the left stick on the controller in order to set up the next screen. As you see, you can just set it up just like that, mounted right on the side. So you press the left stick over here, and then press the A button on the right Joy-Con, and you go to the next screen. So now at this point, it's going to tell you you need the Nintendo Switch dock, HDMI cable, and the Nintendo Switch AC adapter, which you would actually have set up first. That's what I did. Then you open the back of the dock and you connect the cables as shown. So it's gonna look something like this and then you can just close it in order to keep the cable somewhat neat. And then I prefer standing up. It's up to you, depending on your setup. Next, you have to dock the console. So you're gonna close the stand on the console and then you're gonna plug it into the dock. Now you see your Nintendo Switch on your television. So if you want a smoother process, like I showed you earlier, slide the Joy-Cons into the support grip, and then you start rocking away. This screen here is where you set up your Nintendo user account. So um, 
you know, it's pretty straightforward from here. Um, I do recommend if you're are a child or you know pretty young at age, have a parent help you set this up. Once you choose your username and your avatar, the setup is complete. Okay, so now we're going to go into some Mario Kart 8. So check out the opening of this case. Pretty cool. Shows you the controller guide. So you can use either steering wheel, the switch console, the pro controller, or you can use the joy console that I showed you. And look how tiny the cartridge is. Pretty small. I don't recommend you putting this in your mouth. I've seen some ridiculous videos where people have done that. Don't be that person. If you go back to your actual switch console, which at this point will be in the dock, there's a little tab here that says game card. That's where you're gonna put the game in. It's right in just like a Nintendo 3DS cartridge. And you close it. And now you see it on the screen. And there you have it, folks. Mario Kart 8. So be sure to see some streams and some videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Peace out. As you see, I am super excited for this Nintendo Switch. And we're going to have fun. We're going to be live streaming Zelda. We're going to live stream Mario Kart. And if there's a way for me to create content and keep you guys updated, we'll do that as well. So again, thanks for the support. We hit that 300 together. We're going to continue growing. Be sure to check me out on Twitter as well so that we can keep conversations going. I'm very active with my followers, so I'll definitely communicate with you guys. And it's also a way to get a great update of all my future plans, updates, and even new videos. All right? So peace out, folks. Thank you.